gonna do? Okay, so, um, what happened last session? Let's just recap. Uh, first of all, you guys arrived on Seafoam Islands, um, and you immediately set to doing a whole bunch of stuff. You ran around, uh, you looked at all the stuff on Seafoam, uh, you looked at the task list, you went dinch shopping, you signed up for a surfing contest, uh, and you asked about who the heck Vern was, and you discovered who he was, and you went and you helped him, and then you went back to the Pokemon Center. Um, Pokedex, a lot of Pokemon on the beach, picked up 30 total Pokeballs from Nurse Jackie. Um, and uh, after paying the Victorville toll, moved down the road, hiking towards the location of the apparent Caterpie Swarm that you were told about. Uh, v, you captured a Star U. I will actually say the name of the Pokemon correctly this time. I know I've constantly been saying Star Me. Um, <laughs> Kid, you battled an Ekans, but did not catch it. Um, you guys had an early dinner uh, to take a short rest uh, before continuing onwards, and uh, you spotted the house, which had been apparently a part of the infestation, although you didn't know how big a part. Uh, you kind of went inside the house for a little bit, but your main discovery at that time was a baby Caterpie who, um, was crawling out of a whole nest full of just string shot, um, and you guys immediately <laughs> got stuck together, but B, you acquired that Caterpie in a very kid-like fashion. Baby. Um, <laughs> meaning just, like, picking it up and being like, hey, you're- Like, you're mine now. Yeah, you're Goodbye. mine now. Um... As Kid usually does. Um, <laughs> and then, let's see. Yeah, you guys continued onwards exploring through the swarm. You got a whole bunch of Caterpie. Eventually discovered um, Metapod, including a shiny one. Along with oh, a yes. much larger nest where a Butterfree mom was apparently situated. Uh, v, you caught the shiny Metapod, uh, and then focused on dealing with Butterfree while juggling Metapod-like footballs, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yep. Um, just pick them up, just like, wait, hold on, wait your turn. Yep. Uh, but the Butterfree that you guys spooked called out to Pinsir, uh, her partner who came charging in and nearly gutted our poor boy Milo. <laughs> <laughs> poor Milo. Poor, poor Milo. Uh, Milo felt conscious, uh, and Rocky tried to come to his rescue only to be unfortunately similarly thrashed about. And, uh, at that point, Kid and his Dwebble came through with a much-needed Rock Blast, and, uh, then Pyra finished the fight with a well-timed Ember attack, um, mm. which was enough to make Butterfree reconsider her real estate choices, uh, which point <laughs> she turned tail and ran. Uh, Kid, thankfully, hurriedly uh, patched Milo up and prevented him from dying, which he might have if uh, something He was happened. on the way to. I'll, I'll say that yep. much. <laughs> uh, there so... were definitely some uh, internal injuries in that. Mm -hmm. you know, I, 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 feel like, I feel like Kid is probably the best <laughs> option for this because I feel like Kid gets hurt often enough that he knows at least basic, you know. <laughs> um, first aid. First aid, yeah. Um, but then, uh, after patching your friend up, you guys dragged him back to the house to recuperate for the night, which is where we will probably start off. So you guys are currently inside the cabin, um, along with your friends. Uh, it's, you know, a little bit dusty, but it's actually a pretty nice place, all things considered. Um, and you are now all officially level 5. What did you guys, um, you guys have new stuff from your trainer, uh, paths, yes. right? So Milo, you could not talk to Pokemon once a day. I think it was mm, three times. Three times a day. A day sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's my wisdom modifier, I believe. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, you can talk to Pokemon three times a day. We'll have to find out what that looks like. Um, and what about you, V? What's your thing? Just so that I can refresh my memory. Uh, any new Pokemon I catch gets a plus one bonus to loyalty off the bat. Now. Uh, yes. <laughs> Everything just loves you. And right. you yeah. say you're not like your father. Um, <laughs> uh, and what about you, kid? What is your thing? I got a number of dice that I can hand out to my Pokemon that buff their skill checks. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Hard stuff. Yeah. That is uh, very, very cool. 
Um, but yeah, you guys are stronger. Although Milo, you certainly don't fully feel like it now. Um, <laughs> Milo hasn't been at full hit points since we <laughs> left on this adventure. It's fine. Maybe if we just do nothing all day and <laughs> we can rest, I can roll well enough tomorrow that uh, I go into the surfing contest with full hit points. But I don't uh, but yeah, I think I'll pick up there. Uh, whoever wakes up first, I don't know if it is Milo this time because Milo, you need all the rest. I don't think it's gonna be. Yeah. No, he's <laughs> he's gonna be out. Uh, let me. I'm gonna actually pull him. Con. Let me see how he goes out. <laughs> he's probably still out when V wakes up. Incredible. <laughs> that is concerning, but that is very concerning. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, who wants to get up first? What are you guys doing? You're in a house. There's no deed. Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> then that just means it's ours by default. No one can <laughs> yeah. it if there's no God deed. Damn it. <laughs> Why do you guys keep acquiring real estate? I mean, I guess that's the point of D&D, isn't it? Yeah. To do things that you can't <laughs> in real life. Um... <laughs> Deep cut for the millennial right. generation. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Alright, well, I guess first things first, I need to roll a d100, right? For egg. Oh shit, that's right, for egg! Roll for egg. Yes, roll for egg. No! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Dude, you guys did a lot of stuff uh, yesterday. I'll let you roll with advantage. If you get another poor number. We ran around the forest a lot. Yeah, you did. Oh, <laughs> well, it'd well, be really good incredible. if we were doing divine intervention. Absolutely <laughs> amazing. I'm going to take the total of those two rolls because I feel bad and I'm going to make that a 12. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, 12. 12. So you're currently at 193. Well, right. I mean, it's supposed to represent um, the, uh, uh, like, the steps we're taking, right? Yep. Man, we were all over the place. Right? We really, we really were. Oh, man. Too funny. Uh, okay, then. Well, um, that's, uh, concerning. But all right, then. Uh, cool. There's your egg. Anything else you'd like to do? You woke, woke well, up surrounded by Pokemon, as, as your fashion. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna recall most of them. Just spend the morning with Dwebble again, because he's the only one that's not at the second stage. He's just content, I think it is. Mm -hmm. yep. So just just spend yeah. the morning hanging out with him. Cool. Mm -hmm. outside. He's gonna give them time to sleep, because you know, Milo almost died yesterday, and V doesn't get up early ever, so. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, do, 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 do. I think I did this one. Right. Whoa. Uh, did you want to roll me a um, Pokemon handling check while you guys are sure. going around outside? Nice. Thank you. Nice. In fact, uh, wait, 21 one plus 3. I'm, I'm doing math. I'm doing math. Hold on. I think that's exactly what you needed, because I lowered the things a little bit. It is. Yeah. It is exactly. Uh, that is exactly <laughs> what you needed. Okay. Um, so the next one is, up from Loyal is going to be... Oh boy. I definitely remember. So it was he was currently a content. Uh, now he is pleased. He's a happy boy. <laughs> he very much enjoys your little... Uh, outside policy Trading. and <laughs> you guys have a great a great old time together um <laughs> all right I just edit that um all right i think the bonuses end up uh being at least the saving throw bonus is the same um Maximum, uh, they increase their maximum HP by half their level, rounded up. Oh no. Wow. Not beefier. 
So currently, <laughs> um, Dwebble is level four, so uh, plus two more HP points. So I believe if he's at thirty right now, he goes up to thirty-two max hit points. Hell yeah! Did you want me to uh, edit that, or are you gonna edit it? Uh, I can if you want me to. I don't mind. Alrighty, I'll just leave that to you then. I don't know how um, realistic it is for both of us to be playing around with character sheets. It tends to get really weird. I saw you open it. I was like, okay, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm, <laughs> I'm, afraid of, I'm afraid of breaking it, honestly. Yeah. Um, cool, cool, cool. Uh, that is all good and fine. Um, you know what? While you're there, I haven't been doing this a lot. Why don't we roll for weather? Because that sounds like a fun thing that we can do. Um, <laughs> since you're the first one outside, do you want to roll me another D100 and see if your <laughs> mean streak continues? Because I think what, that's what I want to do. Based on that 9 and 3, no, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Freak Blizzard. 18. <laughs> wow. You're on a roll today. Still surprisingly low for yeah, a D100. Right? Um, yeah, the weather outside uh, looks to be very, very clear. You look up at the sky. It's the kind of really crisp, really, like, uh, eerie morning atmosphere where it's a little bit colder in the morning, but you know that the sun is going to be blazing hot by the time it climbs into noon. Uh, so yeah, you're looking at another nice, clear day for today, at least. Um, the Caterpie strings are all still there they have not been cleaned up although it looks like they might rot naturally after a while um <laughs> they just decay they just decay and you know become a part of the forest but everything else yeah, we, don't, we don't get paid to clean that up so that's not our problem <laughs> that's, that's not Great. necessarily your problem in fact you you gather um the probably the pokemon that exist in this forest are going to appreciate you not cleaning it up because it's just, you know, natural, either shelter or natural snack. <laughs> now, I know, like, it'll decay or whatever. Can I, like, cut a path to the window and just shut it so nothing else walks in and causes the same problem again <laughs> for us? <laughs> Can you imagine? It's Kakuna next! No. There's a little <laughs> Weedle! Uh, yeah, yeah, you can absolutely do that. You start doing that and clearing it up. Um, it takes you a while. Probably you and Dwebble can honestly do that together. He can snip snip them. Um, <laughs> although there's a couple of times where you actually have to, like, pick him up and help him and get the string shot off of him because he ends up rolling in it and gets, like, stuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, Not the crab. Uh, but yeah, other than that. Everything is looking pretty good. V, you probably end up waking up around this time. Um, mm -hmm. I'm presuming you charged your phone overnight. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, you end up waking up to like a text from Moel um, with like a photo attached to it. Here, I'll actually send it in the chat because didn't, it's super fucking Didn't we funny. text Acacia uh, at the end of last game, too? You did text Acacia. Yeah, we told her that we would be back. <laughs> told him we'd be back eventually. Yeah. Unless you died. <laughs> I think that's what it was. And there was like, what? <laughs> oh, no. So I accidentally caught a hop -ip. <laughs> How do you accidentally catch something? Um, but yeah, Mo so Moel's just, you know, like, keeping oh you updated. God. I love it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess me, me and an answer will just, just how do you accidentally catch a, a Pokemon? <laughs> um, he tripped, but <laughs> yeah, but uh, he he will also send her back a uh, a picture of, I guess, just like Milo passed out in bed, face down, bandaged. <laughs> yep. <laughs> did anyone ever recall Rocky? Because no, he just never he... did. Yeah, he he went unconscious, but I don't know if he ever like looped back because I was I was nope. also unconscious. He's still there. No, he's still so there. He's we we picked him up and in brought him with. Yeah, you didn't even have to pick him up; he would just follow along with Milo. He seems to be extremely, extremely protective of Milo at this point. Like even as you wake <laughs> up, V, and send the message. Um, and glance over, you see Rocky just, like, laying kind of halfway across Milo's legs and looking at you, like, intently, like, are you gonna do anything? Um, <laughs> giving you, like, that suspicious 
glance. Um, but Mine. Uh, aside from that, yeah, you don't have any new mass uh, messages from Acacia, although you did indeed send them a message yesterday night. And because you, you had initially planned, I believe the initial plan was to meet up yesterday. Um, yep. And you just yeah. never ended up getting back. So. <laughs> There's yep. that. We told them we'd be there tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, you also did have a message from your dad last night that. Yeah, or not it was a message it was like several missed calls and you texted <laughs> you texted your dad back and was like we're like uh, battery yeah. low or whatever the, yeah the night before i told him that my phone was dying so i couldn't answer back yeah so you're, um you're a busy dude everybody wants to <laughs> reach out right? to you i guess it's the he'll... life at the face of the party he'll uh sigh and then he'll let Ivory out to like hang out with Rocky and Milo and okay. see if they can get slightly better acquainted and hopefully not kill each other. Okay. And then he's gonna take his phone and kind of like walk out of the house. All right. Milo awakens to an unfamiliar house alone with two Pokemon on his feet. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's our Pokemon though, so they are. I know. Hopefully that will help. To be fair, Ivory's probably doing that thing that cats do, where they're just like, oh yes, the most comfortable place to lay, your face. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you don't need to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs air? Not me. Yeah, yeah you walk He'll walk down. <laughs> See Kid tangled up in web and tr like trying to pull Dwebble out and just like give a wave real quick and then head out and with his like phone up dialing his dad back okay. um the phone rings a couple of times before picking up and you hear your father's relatively groggy voice although it sounds like you didn't wake him or anything he just sounds perpetually tired now um, <laughs> <laughs> the last few times you've spoken to him as he well, did, well. And just goes uh, it's that's uh, relatively early um all right. Yeah. Are you, where are you? Are you on Seafoam? Uh, yes, I think so. We're we're on the Mint Island. I think. Oh yes, I think I remember. All right. Well, house full of caterpies. No big deal. Okay. Um, I am doing the thing that you wanted to do called keeping in touch and it sounds like he's oh. reading from a smeared like note <laughs> on his own hand being like and <laughs> open keeping open communication canals channels anyway um i sure have to return to viridian in order to keep things running smoothly at the gym but um Regarding your last message, I've let a few associates know uh, the situation and what you and your friends saw and heard. Thankfully, um, it seems that the stolen Pokemon were recovered, although their Pokeballs were not. Uh, nothing currently on what the motive was, although we're looking into that as well. And uh, Yeah. I don't know. Like, I mean, I think they, they're like trying to be the good guys by doing bad shit, because I think, like... Milo said they threw a bunch of shit overboard off the boat, and it's probably the Pokeballs if they don't have those. Mm -hmm. So they're, like, trying to free Pokemon. Uh, which is why I think that Sylph is mad at us, because they think that we're part of Type 19. Oh, uh, that really... You know, like, that really wasn't our fault, and we didn't even, even heard of those people when we did whatever... <laughs> yes, that is an issue. Um, I managed to convince the police uh, of that for the time being. However, just in case, if you're contacted by another self-corporate member, just let me know immediately and just avoid them like the plague if you can. Um, Magnus wants- What if- What if they invite us to another fancy thing? Can I go? I- I have a feeling they won't, just because when I was talking to the police, I...
caught sight of Magnus, their PR uh, representative, accusing <laughs> you three of being the ones to turn off the lights during the dinner. Apparently he caught mm -hmm. wind of you being down in the ship's engineering quarters right beforehand. However, thankfully the no, head engineer... Yeah. yeah. We were helping them. Yes, that's, that's what I heard as well. The head engineer vouched for you, as did um, <clears throat> someone else. He kind of pauses and eventually just goes awkwardly. Look, I'm impressed with you making friends in high places already, but don't get too carried away. You're a little too young to be courting celebrities. <laughs> That's not true at all. What? <clears throat> oh, one more if thing. If they think I'm cool, then it's... That's cool. Um... Oh, okay, hold on. And you, you hear him, like, make a weird <laughs> noise, and then in the background, you hear a weird yowling sound, and after a second, uh, he just goes, oh, for fuck's sake, okay. Uh, can you do me a favor? Can you, do you have the your Eevee with you? Yes, I think she's currently smothering Milo. Okay, well... And then he, he seems to, his voice seems to become, like, very quiet for a moment, like, muffled, and you hear him as if turned away and talking to somebody else and go, not now, not, just, just wait, it's fine, <laughs> later. Um, and then he turns back around What's and goes, up? <sighs> what do you think? And then, um, with the call, you see that the video turns on from the call. But instead of Gary's face, you see a very familiar furry dark face of Gary's Umbreon, which is extremely, like, worriedly sniffing the phone and just opens its mouth <laughs> and goes, Aww. Oh. <laughs> do I, I, I know it's a, do I know if it's a male or female? Um, I don't remember what Gary's Umbreon's gender is, actually. I think, I think it's, it's a male. Really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He he'll pull the phone back and look at the video. And just oh, dad's worried. <laughs> Gary go. <laughs> Gary like in the background of this entire video phone conversation narrows his eyes and goes. <sighs> dad's else. worried when he really shouldn't be because both. I mean, that everyone's fine. Like everyone's having a fun time. Hold on, one second. He'll <laughs> walk I, back into the house. Just, you know, it's splatted. <laughs> As he says, everyone's fine. Everyone's having a good time. There's just the ambient sound of glass breaking and kids just... <laughs> <laughs> As you're walking There's that back. in the background. And then as soon as I walk up the stairs and, like, he'll point the phone at Milo's bandaged, immobile body... <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. Everyone's great. Everyone's having a good time. For a second, there's like quietness as finally the Umbreon sees your Eevee and seems to like calm down in the Eevee. I don't know if Ivory comes over, probably sniffs the phone as well. But in the background, you just hear Gary go, Oh, what? Have... It's been two days. What the fuck? Did you... what it's been two to... days. What happened to <laughs> oh, Yeah. It's been two days. It's All been a right. day. <laughs> Milo has had a lot of time. <laughs> he's, he's honestly, this is the adventure he always wanted, so he's fine. <laughs> um, he he earned it. It's fine. But yeah, you finish up your call. Um, apparently, the Umbreon just wanted some FaceTime with Ivory. <laughs> and there's a little bit of like snuffling very close to the phone's microphone, you know, that makes like those sounds. Um, Say hi, Ivory. Uh, Ivory probably tries to like act casual about it, but probably pretty excited. Yeah, I don't know how much. Um, it's kind of up to you, partially, but pretty pretty easily to identify that. Yeah, Ivory is technically the child of <laughs> the Umbreon. Um, but eventually, um. It all calms down, and Gary just tells you to, you know, once again reminds you that if anything else happens with Self, to keep him updated, and hangs up because he's got. Yeah. Okay. Bye.
Go get some sleep. <laughs> there, there's no oh answer. <laughs> <sighs> if you fall off your Hydra Edge gun, it's not my fault. Now who's falling All off right. what? What? Oh, hey, you're not dead. Oh. That's great. Did we win? How you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> and like looks down. Ow. <clears throat> Ow. <sighs> uh -huh. So I guess we won, right? The, v, v will like take a quick look, make sure you're not on death's door, and then punch you in the shoulder. <laughs> uh, not on death's door. I rolled hit dice. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that probably yeah. the injuries are closer to your ribs because the way that the pincer had you probably like cracked a rib or two. Brunched. Yeah, yeah, but mm. mostly around your torso, so your arms are relatively all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we won, uh, mostly. No thanks to you. What? <laughs> no thanks to me. Okay, yes, thanks to you, but also, don't do that. <laughs> he kind of, like, stretches and, and winces a bit and, like, holds his chest. Ah, can't promise anything. If you're gonna die to something, can you at least just, like, let it be stupidity of, like, non-Pokemon-related ways, or kid? Kid can kill you. But that... That doesn't sound right. <laughs> that doesn't sound right at all. That's one of, actually, <laughs> kid's, new, kid's new trainer abilities, is he just gets a license to kill. He's <laughs> <laughs> He can murder people. <laughs> Don't blow seven. That's, that's level... Level uh, seven, yeah. Oh yeah, level, <laughs> level seven. <laughs> he he'll look look down at Rocky on his feet, like, "Hey boy, how you doing?" <laughs> Scruff him a bit on the head. But seriously, <sighs> like, please don't die by getting in between Pokemon battle stuff. Like, that's what am I supposed to do with that? I mean, I I felt like I could probably have handled my own a little bit longer than that, but uh, that. <sighs> Yeah. yeah. Yep. There's a I giant just... bug with a giant, like, pair of pincers. Scissors, you can say it. They're pincers. Pincers <laughs> to crush people with. Yeah. <sighs> I realize that is what they are intended to do now. Uh -huh. No, I, I, I hear you, V. I, I can't promise anything. But I will do my best not to throw myself into harm's way, okay? Deal? I I don't know if that counts as a deal, since you said no promises to begin with. Well, I'll try. That's the promise I'll make, is that I'll try. Okay? Like he openly had his fingers crossed right in front of you. As you said. Right. <laughs> right in front of my face. I mean... Like, looks down at Rocky. Yeah. If I had just stayed out of the way, I don't know, I thought maybe I could just buy him just that extra bit of time, that extra moment, and then we could get the upper I mean, hand. I, I didn't... He had one extra, you know, six seconds before he also got thrown into oblivion. But he I seemed can't... to appreciate it. He got... Oh. To, like look down and check out Rocky's yeah, wounds. I don't even know how much he healed overnight because mm -hmm. we don't have a Pokemon Center, and yeah. he was unconscious, but he leveled up. So he did. He <laughs> was unconscious. I'd say thematically, he looks about as worse for wear as you. He's, he yeah, he's, matching like, broken. He's like yeah, yeah, basically. <sighs> the problem is, is that we can put him in a Pokeball and in the Pokemon Center, and I don't think they'll let me do that to you. No, I don't think I'll fit. I think the only one of us that might be qualified as a Pokemon is Kid at this point. Maybe. He hasn't gotten out of bed yet. He's just sort of like sitting up. It hurts to move. <laughs> okay. Ivory will jump on your head. Oh. Yep. Alright, so did we get all the Caterpie? Are we able to get back? In uh... Yeah, I mean, I used all our Pokeballs. I caught some, Ooh. and he okay. kind of like throw, like dumps. I don't know, ten Pokeballs. I can't remember how many I had. I think you got eight more after the fact, and then whatever ones we yeah. had on that map. 
I know Chekhov was keeping right. track. I think I had like two Caterpie and two Metapod. Yeah, I can't remember, but he dumps like a bunch of Pokeballs all over your like covered legs. Okay, <laughs> cool. So we won. Right, that, yeah. That is, well, that... I mean, the Butterfree got away. Uh, Technically, they both. Hopefully, get away, it... but... yeah. That's. I mean, are they gonna be mad if we kind of got rid of the problem, but like maybe just moved it along the line, or do you think they'll just like redo it right here? And I think I being know. chased out of here, these ones in particular won't come back. Uh, so I think we're in the clear. They'll probably just move to somewhere less populated because they don't want to deal with trainers and people. <laughs> and then if there are people here in the house, which is a pretty nice house. We can, uh, yeah. At least hope. Can we that keep they... it? We can ask. <laughs> <laughs> they said that the guy moved out. Like that means he left it, and it's not his anymore. So I think we should get it as a reward. <laughs> that sounds right to me. I <laughs> can't argue with that logic. <laughs> All right, let's head back to town. Yeah, I, I think Kid might be stuck in a web, and we might need to help him, but knowing him, I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be fine. All right, We're gonna get down there. He's not stuck in the web, but he's using the web to, like, stick broken pieces of glass back in the window. <laughs> uh, that'll do it. <laughs> uh, just make sure you don't... Oh, you already cut your hands up. Alright, just, uh... It's I don't know, would Caterpie Web be good for wounds? It it could be like super glue, you know? I don't know if I want to glue my hands shut. <laughs> I mean, super glue is really good for, for like shallow cuts, deep cuts, because it just glues the the um the wound back together. That it heals. still seems really weird to me, like every time you tell me that, that seems like how is it supposed to heal if you glued it shut? Well, the super glue eventually, you know, dissolves. Your body will eat it up and break it down. And then as it's doing that, the skin has a chance to stitch together. Gross. Life. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Milo's not dead. I am not dead. Ta-da. <laughs> I kind of shut the window. So, you did. Ta-da! Success. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I mean, job well done, guys. I yeah. definitely give that like a 7 out of 10. C's get degrees. <laughs> Maybe we could cover it in like plastic wrap. Is there any plastic wrap? Veal start like digging through the kitchen. Let's see, do I have anything? I might have a couple of old I could put a blanket up. Bag. Yeah, we could do that. But I mean, if we like plastic wrap it, and then, like, sometimes we, we had to do that during the winter. Like, at your house, Milo. Yeah. If they've got plastic wrap um, and tape, we need duct tape. I, I feel like I should have duct tape in my bag, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> He'll just sort of, like, sit down and let V look around. Just sit there and kind of pet you, Rocky. You got a little, you got a little Caterpie and Metapod. Why don't you just have them string shot the window closed? Just cover the whole thing, not the whole room, just the window. Right. Yeah, I could do that. Hold on. If I put plastic wrap on first and then cover it in web, I don't know if there's plastic wrap though. I have not been told by the higher power. Oh my god, I've been talking the entire time, and I have oh. had my mic muted. This is so funny. Okay. Uh, yeah, absolutely. There is cling wrap under the sink. Um, you go around. It's pretty easy to find it. No investigation check needed. It's literally just you going around <laughs> opening drawers and being like, Yep, aluminum foil, plastic wrap, a bag full of plastic bags. You know, the use. <laughs> Neat. Um, I mean, I'll take the plastic bags, actually. Those could be useful. <laughs> okay. Pack of Ziplocs. 
It's cool. It's more like uh, one of those like Target plastic bags filled with other like various grocery store plastic bags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the bag bag. It's, it's the bag bag. The bag bag. I yes, mean, exactly. either way, that's not. It could come in handy. It, the most mundane of magical items, <laughs> the bag of bags. You reach into this plastic bag and it produces plastic bags. <laughs> yep. You do and not know how many plastic <laughs> bags there are. <laughs> Yeah. Every time you, just... you pull a bag, you roll a d100 on a 1, it just is empty. <laughs> that sounds pretty accurate. Um, yeah. <clears throat> throw up a bunch of clean wrap, and then I'm gonna let out uh, Kaede. Okay. And have her see if she, she can like string shot it. You, you yeah, just shake right. her up with the little red <laughs> horns and just go. <laughs> just, alright. You know string shot, right? Can you string shot and make the bag, make all the plastic stick there forever? <laughs> she kind of looks up at you, tilts her head a little bit, and then uh, looks at the window, and you, you've, I'm presuming, plastic cracked the window at this point? Yep. Okay, yeah. That's good, V. She can definitely do it. That's not a problem. Yep, go, go around the edges, make sure it sticks. Okay. Cool. Um... Absolutely. You guys do that. You seal up the window. You're pretty sure nothing else is getting in here. Um, <laughs> Ever. It's a, there's also glass inside there, so it's an extra trap it's for fine. anybody who tries to get through. <laughs> because oh, then no. they're glued inside the window with pieces of broken yep. glass. Um, yep, it's fine. It's Perfect. <laughs> that's a problem for whoever owns this house. And if it's our <laughs> right? problem, that's great, because that means we own the house. But if it's not, right. then it's not our I mean, problem. Yeah. Yeah. If if we need to clean it up <laughs> later, we can just have Pyra use like ember on the webs. That'll burn up all the web and, and then the, the glass will. Well, I mean, that's why we have ember or Pyra do it so that you know. Hopefully, she controls the fire a little bit. <laughs> and <laughs> then, if not, that's what we've got Froki for. <laughs> Very true. Exactly. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, the best thing about being a Pokemon trainer is not only the ability to solve problems, but also the ability to create new problems for yourself to solve. What's <laughs> up? Ow, my ribs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe don't run around today and we'll just we'll go for a light walk. Yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna head back to town. Uh... We can do the like morning training. I wanted to do it with Lily as well. Yeah, I, I want See to... If... Uh... See if uh, Rocky likes Lily. <laughs> the ghost. Right. She's so big. <laughs> yep. All these Pokemon are so big. Right. Just let her out and I, I tell her to go say hi to Rocky. Okay. She floats over. I almost want to make her do a charisma check. <laughs> <laughs> Does Lily have a... Good charisma model. <laughs> yeah, it's an okay. It's a 10. It's not negative. So, let's see. Four. Oh, no. <laughs> Rocky's not having it. He, like, kind of edges away and then sticks his face, it's... like, between Milo's knees and is just like, no. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. She's, She's not gonna hurt you. She's just, she likes to play. Uh, Lily Lil is doing this thing where she's like sinking into the floor halfway and then bouncing back up like she's a chair in a Bethesda game clipping through the furniture. But Rocky finds that more horrifying than entertaining. Concerning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's like, what the fuck is happening? Uh, alrighty. Let's hit the road. I also have that, that job on the beach that I wanted to take care of while you're still here. Because my boys could sniff out the trash. But. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is. It feels like it's like late it's in the morning, like, like eight. No, it's, it's like eleven. It's fine. Uh, it's pretty early, actually. You you woke up a lot later than normal. I kind of let you sleep, but you woke oh, you that. got up after me, so you know it's kind of. Uh, I'll open the door the and look up and be like, "Let's head back to town." Yeah, let's let's head back to town. <laughs> It's probably, it is probably very much like 10.30-ish. Um, I'll put Kaede away for the time being. You did catch Kaede, right? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 
But oh. now I don't know what to do because I'm gonna cry. I have to put her back in the Pokemon Center. <laughs> I know. Those monsters. Those mo those monsters. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Those people who you can't say it's dangerous to have too many Pokemon when one of them is a literal baby. <laughs> um, you do? No, the egg is the literal baby, and that's why it's okay for kid to be I carrying that around. Mean, but it's not even a baby yet. It's like a pre-baby. <laughs> it's an egg. It's still in an egg. Yeah, that's fair. Um. Hmm. I don't know if I want... <laughs> right. Okay. Is there anything else we wanted to do while you're out here? I mean, do we want to see if there's anything hidden in these them there woods? Or, or do we just want to head on back? I mean, we could do that as our as our morning training and have Lily and Rocky run around. Try to find anything. I mean, I'll... I'm down. I'll probably stick with Rocky. That way he doesn't get too scared, but... That sounds yeah. good to me. No, I mean, but like us us go with them and have them search around a little. Yeah. All right. Have a, a searching training. Hopefully we Whatever. don't get bodied. <laughs> yeah, well, if if you see anything that seems like it's coming at us, we'll just run away. Alrighty. Oh, yes. No, we'll battle it. We can always use XP. That's what yeah. I was 100% going to do anyway. I was, I was just going to throw Pokemon at it, but that's all fine. Now that, we, now that we have a party, kids less inclined to try to go catching a bunch and more inclined to actual <laughs> battle now. <laughs> right. Fight everything. Um, all right. Uh, very good. So you guys uh, begin to head back to town. So you're looking specifically well, for Pokemon as you're doing so, or? Is there anything else on this map? Because I see that there's like dark uh, spots. Oh yeah, those are just the spots that you guys did not go to. I will say that you can definitely walk around. Um, sure, why yeah. not? Really? Just make sure there's nothing else bad or if we missed any like cool items or something. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll me investigation or perception. I'll let you guys choose which one. I am better with perception, so I'll let you roll a perception. <laughs> I'm, I'm so bad with both. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Okay. Um. Wow. Uh. Okay. Milo and V, you guys are both walking around. Actually, while you're walking around with your Pokemon, because I absolutely will forget, can you also roll me animal handling checks? Because I'm guessing you're using Lily because you want to like do the bonding thing with her, right? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Go ahead and uh, roll. Okay. I actually, there we go. Not bad for once. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on a different screen. Uh. And uh, you rolled a ooh, 22. Okay, very good. Great. 22. Cool. Um, oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope, that's a 25. Oh, that efficiency bonus bump. Having that plus 9 in animal handling. <laughs> what is me? Yeah, what happened to that man? V? V? <laughs> yeah, is he just not like. Is he just not good with handling Pokemon? <laughs> I think you have, like, a 10 wisdom and proficiency oh, my animal handling. Yeah. 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 I mean, uh, I've got a proficiency, but yeah, I have not a very good uh, wisdom score. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Not so good. Yeah. Oh my god, incredible. Oh, did you already add uh, the 24, or is that from... Did you also roll... Yeah, no, I already added okay. the 24 for Rocky, yeah. You're ahead of me. I was like, yep. <laughs> whoa, you're zooming, you're zooming. Um, so on Milo's 11 and V's 9, you guys do go around and you have a fun time exploring this uh, nearby wooded area here. Um, you don't find a lot of other Pokemon. It seems like maybe your battle with the pincer um, <laughs> last night may have scared off a few of the wildlife, a bit of the wildlife here. Everybody was like, oh, Jesus, that sounds really serious. We're not going to get away from that. Scared of that. Yeah. Um... Are we the monsters? The trainers? <laughs> um, for you, you do find a nice bench. <laughs> yep. Milo's, Milo's going to yeah. take... I'm just going to lie here on the bench for a little bit. Um, for kid, kid, can you roll me a d20? In fact, roll me two d20s just for funsies, because why not? 
Okay, a 13. Okay. Um, cool. You, kid, you specifically, as you're going around, uh, end up in the, um, like, the higher up wooded part of this area. Um, oh, that was not reveal, or rather it was, but it didn't work for some reason. Uh, mm -hmm. you find a couple of things. The first thing you find is, weirdly enough, a piece of candy, uh, that appears to be contained <laughs> Ooh, within, like, a, a capsule of some sort. Uh, you, hmm, roll me a Pokemon knowledge. Roll me an Arcana, please. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Yep. This is definitely candy. You should definitely eat it. <laughs> you have no idea what it is. Mmm, forest candy. Mmm, forest candy. <laughs> um, and then the other one was a five. Okay. Uh, lol. Um, and you find a bunch of crabby. <laughs> <laughs> That seem to what have like, wandered in here. Yeah, they, they seem quite lost, to be frank. <laughs> they're just like <laughs> they're just like walking across. They seem to be migrating from one point to another. So if you'd like to battle some crabby, you can definitely do that. There's about three of them. They're just chilling. <laughs> uh sure. You're probably not gonna use bubble for this though. <laughs> Water's kinda not his forte, so who kind of give Dwebble a little pet and recall him into the Pokeball and send someone else out. <laughs> sounds good, sounds good. We'll put you over here. We'll, we'll make this the little, uh, thing. And, uh, let's, yeah, sure, let's battle. I guess more okay, with okay, 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 okay. We'll get her a little bit of... Okay. She hadn't had to step up in a little while. There's three of them. Hold on. Anybody interested in a sports crab? <laughs> uh, I mean, I've got Cookie back at Pokemon Center already. Uh, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I mean, if they're different, like if they had, I don't know, plants growing out of their back or something, we could grab one <laughs> for... Forest uh... crab. <laughs> <laughs> Forest crab. Um... <laughs> And just for fun, um, kid, can you roll me three D100s just to make sure none of them are shiny? Because we can't miss that opportunity. <laughs> My dude, what is happening with you and your D100s right? today? What, I, what is, is up with this? This is like the lowest I, just... I have ever seen. <laughs> this is the I game know. saying, play a cleric. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that last fight. The rolls were exactly the same. I landed a single <laughs> shot from Dwebble the entire game. Right? Uh, incredible. Okay. Well, uh, that is a horrifying. Um, <laughs> let me just double check something to make sure that I have it solved. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I forgot that I bumped their HP up because I forgot that they were at that threshold, and I never actually maxed it out for her. Until, until we were talking about it last game, I didn't even realize that <laughs> that loyalty gave them HP bonuses, so I had to do it for all yeah. of them. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Um, give me one second, please. As it's I nice, but it's definitely a little confusing. Edit some stuff. Sorry, I just need to adjust some things on my side because I realized that I was not prepared for this. <laughs> Random roll tables, am I right? <laughs> Random crabbies. Random crabbies. Yeah, they're just a bunch of little guys. Yeah, you hey, know, they, just they, hanging out. they might be. Um... <laughs> they might be up to no good. Is there a forest kingler about to fuck our shit up? <laughs> I hope so, that would be awesome. A forest kingler, also known as a, uh, what is it? Uh, 
blah, 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 parasite. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie, why don't we roll initiative? You versus these three crappy. <laughs> oh god, it's on her face. Oh god, why did I move it? That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> crap, 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 crap. Crap. They have acquired crap. <laughs> <laughs> They're all doing the little dance, you know. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Uh, which Krabby goes first? This Krabby goes first is uh, gonna run up and will probably try to uh, vice grip you. Because why not? Crab grab. Crab grab. That is a 19 to hit. Why do I roll so great here? <laughs> Uh, Turns out these are like the beefiest crabs ever. That is seven normal damage to Froki. And Oof. you are technically grappled by it as it just hangs on to one of Froki's legs and just refuses to let go. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the other crab also runs up uh, doing as crabs do and will also attempt to vice grip because why the fuck not? Uh, Jesus, why am I rolling so well? That's a natural 19! <laughs> Oh god, Froki, I'm so sorry. Ten normal damage. <laughs> about to get killed by crabs. Also, feel free to, like, if you wanted to trade more than one Pokemon, you could technically also let out another Pokemon to at least distract them and give them a different opponent. Since this is, like, a wild battle, this is not... There's <laughs> no rules, no kings. There are no rules. Uh, but it is Froki's turn. All right. I mean, does it cost anything to let another one out? Uh, no. I'll say it's a free action for you. You can only command okay, one of your Pokemon per action, but, like, you can still let another one out for free. He'll just toss Zubat out. Okay. Have her you know, flank, because <laughs> we're out here in these streets, apparently. <laughs> apparently, yeah. <laughs> no mercy, Krabby. All right. Yeah, we'll start with a. Uh... Let's see. That's a pound. Punch that crab. Ooh. Hell yeah. Punch yeah. it. Whoa, okay. Ah, uh, that is 11 points of damage. This crabby's already looking like it's pretty crabby. <laughs> uh, I actually <laughs> gotta roll another. Ooh. D6. Five. Oh my god. So that is uh, 16, or how does that work? Yeah. Or does it, okay. Yep. It's just because of that that thing. Uh, the Jotoan. It, it, it's basically like uh, oh, yeah, Piercer. Oh right. yes. yeah, that's right. Yes, yes. <laughs> this Krabby already looks on its last legs. In fact, just thematically, <laughs> it lets go of you and begins to look like it's about to run, a, run the fuck away because it does not like where this is going. <laughs> okay. On the same one? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Krabby. Okay, it's yeah, just not your day. No. It's good. <laughs> it, is, it is just really not your day out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's, that's gonna do it. It's uh, gonna yeah. fucking do it. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I adjusted their level and I forgot to adjust their HP. But regardless, that still kills it. That Krabby's fucking <laughs> gone. It's fucking gone. I'm gonna adjust the other one. Right, now, Krabby's gonna skedaddle over this way because... She doesn't provoke attacks because of quick attack. Okay. And I gotta make sure I uh, take off the PP. Alright. Alright, but cool. that's my turn. Cool, 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 cool. Um, this Krabby, which has not moved yet. Oh, I realized that I fucked him up. But that's fine. Um, this Krabby, which has not moved yet, uh, will probably try to bubble the Zubat. Do, 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 do. This one will go. Yeah. That is a 20, a 6, and a 9, so I'm presuming only the 20 hits. <laughs> yep. 
Twenty will hit. All right, three water damage. I just realized I've been muted. <laughs> Look at that little squeak, like eh, cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go, 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 go. Um, oh, and Froki doesn't wait. Does Froki not take attacks of opportunity now, or nope. did she? Okay. No, nope, because quick attack lets you move without provoking. I actually wanted to hold on. Okay, I did want to actually ask Kate about that because I was reading Quick Attack the other day. It says, as a bonus action, you can immediately move up to ten feet and make a melee attack against a creature in range without taking an attack of opportunity, but like. That presumes, doesn't that presume that you're moving away from one creature to make attack on another and avoiding the attack of opportunity, not after you take the attack? Because that seems like it would say that you can move away afterwards without taking the attack of opportunity. Uh... I just wanted to, like, make sure. I know we've been playing it, like, um, kid just said up until now but i just wanted to make sure because it doesn't really sound like it prevents an attack of opportunity mm -hmm. upon moving away from whatever you hit it just says you can avoid taking an attack of opportunity when you move to hit with the yeah attack. it's it's i don't know it, i'm willing to go either way you know yeah, i don't really whatever you want to do it's fine. Yeah. You quick, just let us know. okay i will say maybe we should do it like that because quick attack has been pretty op <laughs> <laughs> it has been being able to bonus yeah, action and then disengage. Yeah. And, so like, know, I, I understand. I understand avoiding one target and then moving towards another without taking an attack of opportunity. But like hitting and then moving away without taking an attack of opportunity seems a little bit not what they might have intended. So I'll leave it up to you. So maybe we should do it like the and, um, closer to what it's written. Okay. You got to move first and then you can attack. Yeah. But you can't, like, move away without provoking attack of opportunity. So would Froki still like to move away, or would she like to stay where she is? I mean, if we're doing it like that, she'll just move to the other one, since it accomplishes that. Okay. Alright. This one, well, this one, this one was the one that was closer to her up until now, so it would still get an attack of opportunity, wouldn't it? Well, the one that I killed would still be up. That crit would be on this one now. Because I would have had to do that to move. So it, she would not provoke the opportunity oh, attacks because she would move to attack that one. This one? Yeah, it would have spread the attacks across two yeah. Pokemon. Yeah, yeah so that crit would be on this one. And the other one that's hurt, because that you, you said it let go and was on its last legs, it's like hobbling over here, but she would have moved... If we're going with quick attack like that mm -hmm. over there. Oh no, sorry. I think I may have sorry, I think I may have been confusing. It was still <laughs> on its slice legs. Like, so the quick attack would have had to have been on it to kill it. Right. So, That's what we're saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah but, so but it's you, not dead. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So it's not dead. Yeah. Okay. I see. I see what's happening. Yeah. Since we're going with the way it's actually worded. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. She wouldn't have did it on that one. She would have to been able to actually move and hit over there okay um let me just double check to make sure so it would have been you hit it for 16 okay so there's still three crabby in play is what you're saying yes yeah. okay. should be uh do, 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 do. what was its initiative homebrew <laughs> all right so we'll get there which actually means the attacks on zubat would have been at disadvantage with bubble because froki was in melee so she might not have took that three damage. She may not have. Because that first one definitely would have missed because it was a 20 and what, a 9? And a 9, yeah. Let me roll one more, at least. And the second one was a... I know one, we had a 6 and something. Yes, let me look back. Hold on. So it was a... So the second one should have missed. Uh, but there's... Do, 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 well, means the third, you, you could still roll high on even with disadvantage with the third shot yes i'm trying to look back what more it was like a six and a nine right where's my freaking bubble <laughs> 20 and a six okay so 20 and a six would have missed nine and an 18 i mean it's disadvantage so nine misses regardless okay and then hold on last one <laughs> 
Okay. Um, I'm not... Hold on. I'm just going to post this because I don't want you to, guys to think that I'm bullshitting. Oh, no. I, <laughs> I don't want you guys to think that I'm bullshitting. Double 20s. <laughs> oh, I've seen that before. So actually, it's not Double three. Bubble. It's not three. It's actually uh, eight. <laughs> On Zubat instead of that. <laughs> uh, motherfucker. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, now it's this Krabby's turn. Oh, Krabby. All right. Uh, normal attack, voice grip. That's a nine. That misses. Uh, this Zubat is on its last legs. We'll probably try to skedaddle away, because it's not here for that. So it'll try to, like, move away here if Zubat would like an attack of opportunity on it. Uh, yes, I think she's going to try. All right. Yes. Oh yes. Fight the crazy. And that that that's a nineteen, so it sets off flinch. Well, it's dead, <laughs> so I don't think it matters much. <laughs> it flinches into death. <laughs> flinches into death. Okay. All right. Um, that's one of them gone, and this one is up next. Uh, we'll go ahead and get up on Zubat and try to bubble it. Oh, bubbles arranged. Oh, why is it so yep. <laughs> So it will not get up on it. I keep on forgetting the fact that bubbles arranged attack. I don't know why. What is bubbles range? Is it 40? Uh, has no water. 60. 60. Mm -hmm. God, bubble. Yeah, so, so it, could, it could blast from right there if it wanted to and hit. Yeah. Honestly, it could even hit Milo if it really wanted. To. Honestly, it does. It's not interesting. My, Milo's had enough. I'll Milo's have having a nap. Like, it, it, it's got enough range. It doesn't even have to move to hit any of them with bubble. Yeah. All right. Uh, two of those will hit, I believe, with an eighteen out of twenty. Why am I rolling so well? Um, and that is a total of uh, five more water damage to Zubat. But she's like. Eh. Cut it up. Again. <laughs> Quit. Eh. All right, it's your turn. All right. Well, Froki, you're kind of already there, so just you know, punch him. <laughs> Front punch. Hit him. Hit him with a good pound. Hell yes. yes. And. Incredible. Okay, that is. At least time. you're also rolling super well to hit. Indeed. Okay. Absolutely. Goes there. Looks like it is not on its last legs, but is looking pretty hurt. Still trying to hang yeah. on to Froke. And then it's going to whip around with quick attack, move right to it, and just bonus action attack. All right. Uh, 12 will not hit, weirdly enough. Hmm. They're uh, actually right. a little bit harder than I thought. I thought it would be 12. No. Creeps. Creeps. All right. Uh, this will turn around and try to vice grip her again. That is a 17 to hit. Uh, four normal damage to Froki. And this crab will continue to um, bubble at Zubat. Natural one and 20 and a 15. Those two will hit, pretty sure. <laughs> a grand total of three water damage. <laughs> <laughs> Spits on him. Yep. Rude. Rude. All right, it is your turn again. All right. Let me, let me make sure I'm subtracting the PP so I don't forget. Because we have her pound. Ooh, that one will unfortunately miss. And then quick attack. Yes. 
that will hit. Four! Uh, this crab's also beginning to look pretty rough. Uh, we'll continue to vice grip because that's the two attacks they have. That's an eight. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Uh, this grab will prob well, no, it's it's having a good time just bubbling at Zubat. <laughs> it's just gonna continue to do that, because why the fuck not? However, uh, will a 13 hit Zubat? Uh, yes. Okay. That is enough. Alright, that's two of them will hit, that's a 13 and a 20 that will hit, so that's four water damage. Just chipping away. Okay. <laughs> And it is Froakie's turn again. Oh, or Zubat's right. turn. Happy. Uh, how how beat up is this crabby looking? This one's looking pretty rough. It's uh, it's looking pretty hurt. It's beginning to look around and consider maybe fleeing. <laughs> Getting the fuck out. Getting the fuck out. Yeah. Then I'll I'll do quick attack on it to see. Okay. Yes, that'll absolutely hit. Five. Oh my god, you're so close. Now it's yeah. looking <laughs> like it's on the last hit point and it's beginning to sway and very greatly consider skittering. Alright. Alright, well then Zubat's gonna move in because I haven't used an action. Yes. And we're just gonna advantage Bite. Yes. I'm not mom. You don't even need to roll, but you can. And that's <laughs> oh, holy oh, shit. Yeah. Jesus, okay. <laughs> you really want to cram. Really, it's really dead. Like, it's super dead. <laughs> <laughs> it just immediately disappears. You're pretty sure your Zubat ate that crabby. <laughs> oh no. Zubat. Oh, oh yeah. no. <laughs> she needs that protein. Oh, God. <laughs> um, all right, uh, this crabby is beginning to look kind of nervous and is beginning to back up towards the trees while continuing to bubble. <laughs> uh, I think uh, 19 and a 22 will hit, I'm guessing. Yeah. That is another five water damage. Cut it down. And it's your turn. Right, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna try to try to keep it from running see if we can make it just goof itself up <laughs> Zubat's gonna supersonic it okay hell yeah confuse the crab confuse the crab alright uh, that is a wisdom save right yep okay. DC 13 hey, that's an 11 <laughs> hey, confuse crab hey, yeah, confuse the crab is indeed confused to all fuck hmm. And kids gotta skedaddle on up into its face because we're not playing. We're not playing fair out oh, here. No. This is the wild. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's it because kid does have a bonus action. I just wanted to basically, basically try to stop it from running. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, it will attempt to lash out. Confusion is you have to roll a d twenty, right? I should know yeah. this. Um, I think if it's less than like 10 Less than 10 it hurts itself And more than 10 it can take Hold on I think it's, Yeah I think it, so. it scales here I have uh, looking it up okay. too On a result of 10 or low Hold on Okay let's <laughs> roll the d20 first and look it up later That's a 5 
It hurts Dro itself. Drops concentration hurts Crab itself snack. for an amount of its... Okay, the Krabby immediately hurts itself in confusion. And it tries to, like, <laughs> pinch you, kid, but instead pinches its own claw like it's shaking hands with itself. <laughs> like, ow. <laughs> Why would I do this to myself? Why would you do... Why would I do this to myself? Yeah, you're here. Right. And just to give the others... Like, it's it's technically not completely to the trees, so we'll say it's, like, about here if you want your other Pokemon to... Okay, yeah. Then he's gonna be, like... He's gonna point, just... Alright, Froakie. I mean, it's gonna resist it, but just hit it with some bubbles, because that's ranged, and you can do that. Alright. <laughs> Yes. Don't assume the eight hits, but nope, <laughs> it will not. But that is five plus two, so that's seven reduced to three. Okay. And then she's gonna haul ass in with a quick attack. Okay. Great punch. Thirteen will hit. Hell yeah. Three damage. It ain't bitter. <laughs> I need to roll another d20. Confuse Grabe. Confuse oh, no. drops. Not confuse. Okay. Uh, it will attempt to... Um, Let's see, what is it going to do? Is it going to try to run or is it going to actually try to... It's a natural 20. It will stay in fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, it's like, you know what? No. If I'm going down, I'm going down swinging. <laughs> yeah. Pinch me, Krabby. I'm right here. You just kind of <laughs> it's like, still, it, like, even though it's not confused, it's still like having trouble deciding which one of you to pinch. And it just goes <laughs> between and you because it rolled a freaking seven and that's not enough. It's your turn again. <laughs> Alright, well, bonus action, gonna have her quick attack to get advantage on the quick attack. Alright. Yes. Hell yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the drawback of the D4 damage. Yep. Yeah. And that will also hit. But, you know. Well, this Krabby, you keep on getting them down to <laughs> one single hit point. This Krabby <laughs> is on its last legs, literally. <sighs> and we'll attempt to uh, vice grip you, kid. Because why oh, not? <laughs> That's another natural 20. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm A-OK. -okay. Kid, kid is at like one or two shy of full health. Kid is A-OK. -okay. Cool. Okay, Hell I'm glad yeah. to hear it because you take 17 points of damage as this thing cramps, clamps down on you. Yeah. I rolled real well. I rolled an 8 <laughs> and a 7. You know how right on like a joint, right? <laughs> yeah, it like tries to splice your freaking Achilles heel, essentially. It's in its last bid for, <laughs> I'm gonna go down swinging. <laughs> <laughs> well, so is Kid. Yep, Kid's gonna get a hand on this ball and he's gonna try to an arm yeah. strike. <laughs> yes, that'll hit. <laughs> you smack the crab. Oh <laughs> you just smack the crab so bad that it just goes into the ground and when you lift your um, <laughs> fist up again, you just don't see it anymore. It's just gone. <laughs> you have punched the crab out of existence. And I once again don't know how to award you points. EXP points. Pokemon. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, that I'm, is... I'm just, a, I'm just a utility for my Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's clear. I mean, that's... his levels are based on his Pokemon, so... So that's 240 EXP. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Krabby aren't very EXP heavy. <laughs> um, so well. that's 240 from all of them. Divide them up among your Pokemon how you see fit. Hell yeah. That's so still... Yeah, I'll just throw them into Zubat and give her some, because none of them are close at this point to the next level <laughs> yet. <so. laughs> right. Okay. We'll get there. All right. Cool. Uh, you finish up your battle. Uh, all the Krabby have been dispatched. Uh, Milo <laughs> is still napping over on the bench. <laughs> yep. 
Um, you got Rocky sleeping on his chest, and he's just enjoying the sound of the wind in the trees, and he had nearly died. And crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Crab rattle. Crab rattle. Uh, but yeah, what's V doing over there yeah. with the... Uh, v V was experimenting to see if Lily could get stuck in string shot or not. She weirdly enough, she can. I don't think okay. she's immune because so, it's bug, right? Probably not. Right. As soon as as soon as she gets stuck, then V like pulls her out. <laughs> she, she she's having a very weird time of it. The entire time she's making a face that's akin to like when a cat likes a lemon, and it's like I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> It's sticky. I shouldn't be able to feel the sticky. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, once so you he's untangle pulling her your... out of string shot. <laughs> <laughs> once you untangle your ball of gas from string shot. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys can head back into town. It seems like this area has been pretty much explored by you. Um, we just wanted to yeah. uh, have the map revealed and make sure we didn't miss anything. Yeah. Also, whenever. Once Milo wakes up and V's done with his little escapade, kid will ask him if they know what this is, and he just holds out a random piece of candy. Milo, you <laughs> roll me an arcana. Oh, uh, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> My head hurts. Sorry. <laughs> Can I help? It's all good. If you want to help, yeah, you're gonna... <laughs> okay. But I can <laughs> really use it. <laughs> just three no, kids, else. Just okay, three kids yeah. looking at a piece of candy. Yeah. Go and just, yep. yep, eat it. <laughs> at least, at least, at least B can reroll the ones. That's that's so. Right. <laughs> He's like, oh, you found that on the ground. Yeah. I don't know, man. It looks like candy, but that's weird. Um, V eventually, with the three of you looking at it, you guys are all pretty tired at this point. You're looking at it, you're <laughs> like, wow, candy. And finally, V, you just, like, turn it over, and it just says on the back in, like, writing, yeah. including nutritional information, not safe for human consumption. <laughs> well, it's right, candy, well, but maybe don't eat it. All right, he'll tuck it back into his bag. We'll check this out in town, I guess. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> if you if you didn't have any ideas, I probably would have made it. So good call. Good looking out, V. Three kids stare at a piece of candy. Uh... Yeah. At least you didn't if it I mean if it right. is what we think it is, I'm pretty sure we right. all know what it is, but that would yeah. be bad to right. waste on a kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Alright. Let's head back to town, get paid for these Caterpie. Um, I don't know, did you guys have other jobs you needed to do? I can't remember.